Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard on an almost 60 degree day, actually warm by comparison to what's been going on. This is my painting, Abstract Expressionist Artwork called Beacon, and it is today's inspiration piece. I often see the paintings in my house and want to bring them out, but this time I'm actually going to do it. It's a 15 by 30 inch, I can't remember if I just said that because this is take two. Um, in any case, while I go put this aside, you can stare at yesterday's dry artwork. And I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> and I have in front of me now a 10 by 20 inch canvas, which should be, which we'll have to do for today. And I am going to try my best to put a few colors where I saw the colors on the other piece. And in some cases I did, in some cases I didn't shake my paints. And I'm going to just use a spatula. I'm just going to use a spatula straight up. And see what happens if we can imitate something even vaguely close to what we've got there. And I'm going to start whenever I start, and I'm not sure when that's going to be. But um, I've got my OXO omelet turning spatula, and that's a good start, in my opinion. Right from center. This might need a frame as opposed to having the edges covered, but you never know. I might get around to it. I'm going to run that spatula right down that edge right now just in case that's helpful to me, and turn it around. Am I going to turn it around? Maybe I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so here's my Prussian blue. And a little bit there and a little bit here. And what do I want with it? I want some other blue with it. not sure how much or how little to use because I've just begun to play with this whole idea of painting strictly with a spatula. So I need some white and I'm going to use some white pearl. I want that over there. It occurs to me I should probably bring the painting back at the end and see how closely it comes, it comes up to snuff. I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. I'm going to try and keep finding colors that make sense to me. Looking at the other painting across the uh, across the way here. I kind of like the geometrics of the other one, so I am going to have to move it around and imagine what it looks like upside down, because that's the bottom line for that. I've got some colors are spread all over my area. I gotta put it back to put my colors on before I spread them because I lose that much focus. All right. I will spread them from the other direction. Ooh, that's not what I expected. Cool. <laughs> I like it when, when I like my unexpected things. Okay. I said I was gonna put some white over here and white I will put over here. I think I might need a new spatula, but I'm not going to get rid of the, the old one in the bucket yet. I've got grit on my spatula. I've got to start cleaning these better. I can't even figure out where it's coming from. It will leave a little mark on the canvas that I don't really want. going to throw some more white in here. That's white pearl from Anita's. It's very sheer, but you mix it with other things. Maybe it's on the canvas is the grit. I don't know. I'll be holding it in the sunlight and looking at it later. Whatever it is, it wants... To, I got it. Ha! I win. No grit in my paint, please. got to come back to where I started from just to see what's going to happen here. 
It's a little blue there, and I need to mark it at least. And let that blue go right over. That can't hurt me right now, I don't think. I may not have the same painting, but if I get even something remotely that feels like it, I'll be happy. I say that now. <laughs> Let's see if it's true. Alright, I've got that Prussian blue. I don't know what I'm, whether I'm going to be down in that general area again. I do like the blocky patterns. I'm not so sure about any of that quite yet. I want some darker red. I know that. And I'm tempted to just attempt to mix a little purple with it, but what I really need is something that's not so far off. And all that, is, I've got to wipe my spatula off whether I want to or not. And I still need some other paint on a spatula to be mixed in with that. And I think I have the right color. Hopefully that will work for right now. I still need that red down here. No idea if this is going to work or not. None whatsoever. So I have some more red down here. Sort of kind of working. And I believe I did a lot of that with a palette knife, but I really don't recall very well. And I like that to be moved over. And I still don't want to get rid of that paint on that spatula in case I want it again. What I'm tempted to do is just leave the white areas similar to where they are. Directly from the squeeze bottles, because that seems to be the way that that's working. Oh, it looks like I used some of my favorite color in there, which is a purple, or a variation on my favorite purple. I did set the timer. I am running a little low on time. Okay, I'm going to use that paint again right off my finger. Getting closer. Might be a part two coming right up. Hard to tell yet. attempt to get some of that paint to go over the edge. Most of it I can match later. I've got some pretty turquoise in there, which reminds me of this Bahama blue. And I don't know, it's this what I'm using is a lot lighter than what's in there, but I think by the time I blend it, it will look similar. I need a much smaller spatula. And I need some very dark purple paint with some blue mixed in over here. And I'm not sure, but I think I might actually have some black in there, which I'm tempted to go ahead once I find it and use Oh, that's not. That's the metallic black from uh, from Anita's. But I don't really mind it. It's kind of. It's got a gray quality to it, and there was a gray patch in the picture. So I'll just figure that's a happy accident. I 
see I have a red spot there. You'd think because the spatulas were square tip that they would work really well for this, but I think my level of inexperience with making that happen is kind of showing right now. Because you have to drag a certain amount of paint in order to not expose the canvas if you haven't pre-primed with something wet. And even then, you've got a big danger of, uh, of doing that. I so wish I would quit holding those, holding the caps to my bottles in my hands. I'm trying to mix those together. It doesn't always necessarily work the way I want it to. I think I'm going to grab a little more dark purple and hope that that helps. That's not bothering me. I like this dark blue square up here. I better remember to keep allowing myself to remember to wipe off what I've got on there. I think if I can get even somewhat close, I'll be pretty happy. And I've got to allow myself to think I don't have to have a thin layer of paint on the canvas because that's not going to help me out. But I am going to get to a point where I'm going to have to put that orange on there. Also, I've got two minutes left. Cool, I'm still on schedule-ish. <laughs> um, I need something really, really pale purple in this spot right here. Do I have anything really pale? I have a metallic that I added Floatrol to and shook up all mightily, hoping to rescue it from yesterday. And I'm hoping that if I add enough, white to it, I'm gonna wipe off my spatula, no matter how much I dislike doing that. Well, I definitely got enough paint right there to to go over the edge. And I am gaining ground. So long as it feels sort of similar, I won't be unhappy. <laughs> I say that now. It's stressful. It's kind of fun. Trying to do it in a really short amount of time is not as much fun as I think I would have if, if I weren't trying to share this process. And I will run out of time, but I'm getting so close to what I wanted to share with you guys. And I do hate wiping off that spatula. I just not a big fan. some more of that Prussian blue right in that corner. I need some of that white up there. And it is white pearl. It's very sheer, but I think the other white would be overpowering, so I'm trying not to use it. And I'm not wasting as much paint as I think. Okay, that's me with two minutes left to tell you whatever I need to tell you. <laughs> Which isn't much right at the moment, <laughs> I gotta say. I'm way more interested in doing this painting than I am telling you that I have Teespring under the video and that my those, Teespring is sharing some of my studio slogans and some of my artwork. 
I'm trying to make a living. It's slow going. That reminds me, if you like to contribute to the studio, if you like what I do, and you contribute through PayPal or Patreon, which are links right underneath the video, you'll be entered in a contest where I am giving on February 28th three different, uh, four different actually this time, four different artworks. I want something else over here. Some real red. Actually, that's some orange. But I want some other red. And I'm just going to go ahead and brave the basting brush because I think that's the only way I'm going to get what I want. I need some red purple. I had some. Whoops. I just got a whole lot more than I bargained for. Okay. Well, I needed that color anyway. I'm just going to use it a few different places and take advantage of it. I like that color. So whatever I forget to tell you, you'll see at the end of the next video. <laughs> And I just want to keep painting. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery playing with a basting brush. I want to throw some orange in there so we have a clue what it might look like. I've got a little bit of yellow. We're getting closer. Grab my yellow. Hoping that it's the right color yellow and I'm not sure it is. That's it. I think I'm, you're almost gone. And I'm not unhappy with what's happened. It's pretty cool. So far so good. This is Priscilla Batzel. Did I say that already? <laughs> I probably said it a hundred times. Okay, 300 times. I have 400 and plus videos. So if you guys like what I do, please feel free to go check out some more. The playlist is in the last 20 seconds of the video along with my website where you will find all kinds of interesting things if you so desire. That was maybe not the right color there. And I'm going to keep painting for a second and then I'll start this over so I can finish it. And uh, I will show you, if I can, how far I've come. And move some paint out of the way. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Bye for now.